Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, uh, I'm still sitting here in my pyjamas. <laughs> the postman just woke me up with some happy mail. Now, I think initially I thought, what on earth is this? I can feel something lumpy in there. I'm not expecting anything. Then I remembered, I think I know what this is. But you're never going to guess. You're never going to guess unless you're the person that sent it. <laughs> Now, um, this is I think this is going to be quite quick to open. So um, I'm partly coming on just to say, <laughs> wow, <laughs> thank you so much for your amazing response to the great big little stitchery swap idea. It's just blown me away. I have now got almost coupled to be confirmed 50 swaps arranged. So I have had to draw a line now. Um, and not take any more on um, a good well, well over half of them are actually going overseas as well so obviously I've got to rein it in a little bit um, but it's been so amazing I will definitely do another round uh, later in the year um, I think we should just keep I think this has just been such a lovely thing to do obviously a lot of us are really up for the idea and and we will definitely do some more so if you wanted to swap with me and you haven't um, and you haven't been able to swap with me this time We'll definitely make sure it happens next time. Um, just get in touch with me if that's the case and I'll make sure you, you're on the top of the list for next time. Um, but meanwhile, there's lots of other people wanting to swap all over the world. I'll put the link in the, the link tree in the description box again so you can find your way from there to our uh, free Discord community. There's a special stitchery swap room in there and lots of other stuff going on as well. I'm sure you'll enjoy it once you get in there. And there's also the Arty Farty Annie group on Facebook and I've created an event in there as well. Um, most people don't seem to be going into the event. They're just going into the group and posting. It doesn't matter as long as you connect with people somehow um, and then um, you'll need to contact them message them privately to swap your addresses and stuff uh, so yeah um i need to get going on my squares because i've got nearly 50 squares to make <laughs> but i know what i'm gonna do i've already decided um and i'm quite excited about it can't wait to get going um and can you imagine how exciting it's going to be when like 40 or 50 squares come back to me as well my posties are gonna have a field day again aren't they <laughs> i gonna wonder what's going on I don't think I'll get them to collect them all on the same day. They, that that would be it. They'd never come back. <laughs> anyway, enough waffle. Let's get into this parcel because you're going to be surprised what's in this one. Let's go to the desk. Okay, so if I'm right, this is a parcel from Nicola. <laughs> it's got sent to him. That was probably a postcode at some point, but it's completely come off, so I haven't bothered. Um, <laughs> I haven't bothered trying to cover that up because I don't think you're going to get anything from that. <laughs> Happy now, enjoy. <laughs> you're going to. You're never going to guess. You're never going to guess what's in here. So if I'm right, and this is from Nicola, she's sending this. Um, it's something she thought about when she was watching my video the other day where I'd made baskets out of different um, recycled things, newspapers and um, coffee bags and found pine leaves. Oh yes it is what I'm thinking. <laughs> now this is something I've never been sent in post before. <gasps> Fabulous. Wow, I didn't realise it was going to be so colourful. <laughs> there we go I bet you didn't guess that did you it's baler twine she said she was going to hang it up and wash it up wash it and hang it up to try it actually it smells of grass i don't know if it's been kept in a barn or so it smells of hay hay and grass so maybe it's been kept in a barn and things but i love that <laughs> hi annie absolutely love your channel oh thank you for sharing your enthusiasm and free downloads hope you can find a use for this baler twine uh, even if it's only for tying up stuff in the garden. <laughs> Nicola, Bobby Poody Cat. <laughs> hey, do you think she might be from Wales? Love that. That's going to go on my inspiration board. What a lovely card. Love that design. It's a really fabulous design, isn't it? Wow. This is written now. This isn't the manky old Baylor twine I remember <laughs> back in the days when we used to live out in the country. Now, this is really nice and in these fabulous colours. So, the idea is I could maybe make it's not going to be tying up old stuff in the garden, Nicola. Honestly, um, this is 
I think I can make some fabulous baskets with this. What a great idea. And I could use recycled wire. So let me show you what I've got here a minute. Mom. So I have got some wires like this, which I got for another project, it's pretty cheap, um, which I could use as the base. Or I've got various things like this. So this one's retrieved from, <laughs> you see, from... Um, one of those kind of tissue paper type lampshades that eventually gave up the ghost but I kept the wire thinking it'd be useful and that kind of thing I could definitely use as a base for a basket and I'm thinking you could actually combine it with you know that hideous plastic uh, it's kind of a tape not sticky it's just like a, a tape thing you get wrapped around parcels sometimes and you have to cut it to get it off and it pings out and it comes in different kind of colours and things sometimes black sometimes different colours I wonder if I've saved any of that somewhere because you could combine the two they make a great combination for a basket wouldn't they this is actually much kind of softer feeling than you would think it would be for Baylor's wine I'm just blown away with those different colours isn't that fab very excited to have a go at that very excited indeed thank you so much uh, Nicola I really appreciate you sending that that's really kind of you and um, I'm going to do something amazing with it I promise <laughs> Um, and thanks again so much to everybody um, for your incredible response to the great big little stitchery swap. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this and it's definitely something um, we'll be doing again. Um, so if, you, if you're not able to join in this time for whatever reason, watch this space. We'll definitely do another one. OK, uh, that's it for me. I want to keep this really short and sweet today. I've got squares to make. <laughs> Um, don't forget we've got the live tomorrow so it's the 30th of June today tomorrow the 1st of July 8pm to 10pm UK time Tom will be here with me we'll be um, a streaming from, from my craft room to YouTube um, a couple of hours of crafting and chat I'm going to be working on some more neurographic um, stitching um, I'll show you where I got with the other one um, maybe we'll, we'll talk about some ideas for because I think it's something definitely we could do more with and um, I'm going to get some backgrounds ready. I'm going to use brushes and things and do some backgrounds ready for some for some more. That's what I'm going to be doing. Tom's actually going to be a slow stitch and he's been practising embroidery. He's never done it before. And I'm very impressed with his results so far. You'll be amazed. Um, I shouldn't be because everything he tries like that, he always does a good job of it just to wind me up. And then he never does it again. Very and one more thing to say, we've got a lot of new people in the Discord community. So we've got this free Discord community. You can find that in my link tree, which I put in the description box. Lots of new people joined this week um, and found their way into the stitchery swap room, <laughs> which is specially set up for people to connect with each other to swap squares. But have a good old look while you're in there. There's all sorts going on in there. If you would like to join us in the voice chat for the live on Saturday, you'll need to be in the... Um, at the discord community if you go into the community hangout in the voice chat bit so all down the left hand side you'll see i'm going i'm um, see i'm doing it the right way around that takes some doing for me all down the left hand side you'll see lots of different rooms with where you can post all different things chat about different things right at the bottom there are the voice rooms if you click on community hangout and go in there then Tom will pull you through into this, the live stream voice chat room when we're ready for you. We don't want everybody coming in at once because it, it can get a bit uh, chaotic. Uh, but if you'd like to do that, it'd be really nice. It's always fun when someone joins us live in the in the voice chat. Um, let us know ahead of time if you can that you want to join in. But we'll we'll keep an eye we'll keep an eye on it and uh, and uh, and pull you in when we're ready. So you want to be in the community hangout room. Don't try going into the the stream voice chat it will be locked to you it won't let you in tom has to pull you through i think that's all i've got to say for now it'd be lovely if as many of you if as many of you as can will join us for the live because the more the merrier it's always so they're always so much fun um, i'm always on such a buzz after we've uh, after we've done one of those so hope to see you there and um and if not i'll see you soon bye thanks for watching